It's the little guys that are the killers. Mediterranean oak borer. That's Christine Buell, a forest entomologist with the Oregon Department of Forestry. Xyloborus monographus. And she's talking about the Mediterranean oak borer, a minuscule beetle. Yeah. That could cause big problems for one of Oregon's iconic tree species. Native to Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa, the beetle was found in California in 2017. Then a few turned up in traps in Oregon the following year, but it doesn't appear that they came from our neighbor to the south. We suspect that the populations that we have found came from Germany, which is different from the populations that have entered California. The first trees to show signs of infestation weren't discovered until earlier this year, one in Troutdale and several yeah, in Wilsonville. Uh, likely this one. And that's where we met Buell as she inspected a stately oak that showed signs of infestation. But the fact that we're seeing dieback and the frass, it's likely Mediterranean oak borer. The beetles bore into the bark of oak trees and create tunnels inside called galleries. This is where the bark is, and then the galleries start, they cut in, and then they branch off like a tree and they're all black. But it's not the bugs themselves that can cause all the damage. It's the fungus they spread as they move through the tree. It's an oak wilt, and basically what that does is it interrupts the xylem. So xylem are the straws that bring in water and translocate it throughout the tree. So it basically will cut off the ability of those vessels to translocate water. Cut off from water, the tree's limbs start to die. And if enough of them do, the tree itself is pretty much done for. Buell said the state is particularly concerned about the beetles because oak trees are well suited to weather warming temperatures and dry spells. They're really drought tolerant, so in a time of climate change, this is a really great optimal tree that we can plant on our landscape. Now people with oaks around their homes should start by taking a close look at their trees. Right at the end of this pen. The holes themselves are only about a sixteenth of an inch, so they can be hard to spot. Yeah, yeah, it's all this lighter stuff. But the bugs create a fine, light-colored powder when they dig, called frass. Here, I can kind of flake it up. And if a tree is infested, usually leaves will start to brown and die along entire limbs near the crown of the tree. And so we do want people to report if they see any of those symptoms, any sort of large-scale dieback, and then the pale, boring dust on the tree. There's still a lot of unanswered questions about how the beetles spread, mm -hmm. whether they only attack sick trees, but you know, they and if infestations are always fatal, one thing the experts are sure of, though, is that the best way to protect Oregon's oaks is to keep the pests from spreading. But when you have an invasive insect that comes into an area, there really isn't a whole lot that you can do to eradicate, if anything at all. But slowing the spread is effective. There are a lot of strategies, and so we're tackling that head on. Kale Williams, KGW News.